Foottrading.co.uk is now live and site areas are being rolled out all the time. Icons are live, fluctuations are live, chem styles are live, and you guys will make millions of coins. We've got guys in the Discord that are making tons of coins, selling them, making profit from using the site. Tournament areas are also about to go live for you to out guys to win competitive prizes. It's going to be absolutely awesome. You'll never need to buy FIFA points again. We guarantee it. So check out the site. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. Make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. Click that like button. It takes two seconds. It makes a huge difference. And if you do comment, I will comment back to every single comment I always do. Check out Foot Trading. Most of the areas are going live now. You will make millions of coins. We guarantee it. And if you want to join the Discord, the link is down below. It is free for everyone to join. Anybody can join it. So please get involved. There's, I think, 8,000 members in there now. It's an amazing place to meet people. But we are going to talk about, basically, what I want to do today is I've shown you all the different trading methods throughout the last, maybe, week or so. I want to put them all into one video now to explain to you exactly how you do each method and how basically I'm well over a million coins now. Most people in the Discord and on the website are over a million coins. I want to show you every single method I can um, and the order that I would do them in, if I'm honest with you, so you guys can start making those millions too, okay? So the first place we're going to start is in the low budget areas, which we expect to do all the time, okay? Low budget trading is the biggest grind and the hardest part of the game, but it is the most rewarding in the long term. Once you get past the low budget stuff, you will make millions from that there onwards because it becomes easier and easier to trade, okay? So what do we mean by low budget? Low budget trading really, it's still good trading. It's just basically trading with anything on the market um, that's sort of lower in price, less risk, okay? So you can find really good things to trade just by looking at things. And now what we're going to look at right now is the objectives is what we're going to start by looking at. And there's a really decent place to really know where to trade. And that is the theme team pursuit. If you look at this, right, the Syria, the Eredivisie, Spain, Liga, F, okay, you know these players are going to be relatively in demand, but you can also combine these with silvers. So you can do two of these with a silver team and get basically three objectives done in one go. So those cards have a demand. So when we talk about trading low budget, we can go and trade with silvers because we know those silvers are in demand. So we can go to the market, we can search silver, we can search a league, and we're going to go for, I think we'll go for the Liga F um, because that's going to be a relatively decent one to look at. And we're going to find out what the cards are selling for. And they're about 800 coins, 750 to 800 coins. So all you guys really need to do is sit there and snipe whatever comes up below that. Now, 6 p.m. is going to be a really good time to do that, okay? Because you know that everybody's going to be on the game and there's going to be tons and tons of cards being listed. So, like, it's that easy, really. Like, you've just seen, I've just picked up two players, all right? Your profit margins on these cards are low, but they add up very quickly. If you buy 100 cards, right? If you buy 100 cards and you snipe them, and let's say your average profit is, I don't know, let's say 20, 200 coins. 200 coins, right? 200 coins of 100 cards is 20,000 coins before tax. So you basically lose 1,000 coins in tax. Am I that right? Yes, I am. So 19,000 coins every time you fill your transfer pile up, okay? That is a ridiculous amount of coins that you guys can be working with. And if you don't really just want to work with the silvers from those leagues, you can work with every single league. So long as the silvers are a minimum price, and we're talking they have to be the common silvers as well there that do this, as long as they're 350, 400 coins, you can't go wrong because you can snipe and you can bid. And they are easy, easy ways for you to make, make coins very, very quickly. What you can also do is if you go to Footwiz, you'll see the popular bronze players on there. You can find those and you can snipe those up and you can bid those up and you can make really quick, easy coins by looking at the bronze players. So one obvious one that we all know is extinct and is probably not worth the time to snipe is Mr. Mainu, okay? Um, everyone's using this guy, I believe this is how you spell it, um, for, everyone's using this card for the evolutions. So you're not going to get this guy because there's going to be bots and everything on him. But there are loads of bronze cards that are unbelievable, unbelievable to snipe. And you can make two or 3,000 coins. People don't know about them. What you can also do is work with consumables, okay? This is all low-budget stuff that anyone can do. As I've shown you before, you've got staff members that are expensive. So I showed you guys earlier on that um, Nigeria managers are relatively expensive because of Osimen and Oshuala. There's also a few other Nigerians that are very good in this game this year. So because of that... Nigeria managers are incredibly expensive. Let me just actually see. I think they're not. No, there we are. 4 2. So you guys can snipe a bit on these guys to get yourself some profits, especially if you're doing it later at night, right late evening. 
I've picked up these cards before and got 2,000 coins profit a card, like, and literally put, picked up 10 at a time. It's an unbelievably easy thing to do. Again, if you now all go and do Nigerians, you're going to screw each other over. There are dozens of nations that are half decent, at least, to do this with. You can trade with shadows, anchors. One of the things I've loved doing this year is trading with kits. So those big popular teams that everybody loves worldwide, they are the best ones to go for. So if we go for kits here, and we go content type authentic and Premier League, and we're going to go for Man United. Don't do Man United now, because I've shown it in this video. Just think about, my God, this is so jarring. It is so jarring the way they set this up now. Authentic, Premier League, Manchester United, flick across. There we go. What you're going to do is you're going to look at the price of the kits in general, okay? And now the away kit is relatively cheap. Okay, it's relatively easy to get hold of. You haven't got to worry about that too much. We're going to go 1,200. But home kits tend to be where the money is, unless the away kit is something special. There are a few kits on here that are something special. If you're not sure, just go and look on Twitter. You can find out all the amazing kits. Everyone loves them this year. You can find all of them. So we're going to colour it. We know Man United's kit is red. That's the main colour. So we're going to go and find out what that's selling for. And as you can see, it's 2,000 coins. You can snipe kits for huge profit. People list them for like 700 coins. They sell for 2,000. These are all methods you can use to bang your coins up. And once you get to the 100K mark, maybe a little bit more, you can then move on to the next method. Now, every single method you see here, we have on the website, okay? Every single method. And what we've done on the website is we picked out all the best cards. So on tier one, we picked out all the best anchors, shadow hunters, specials and icons. We picked out, in fact, icons, we cover every single one. So everything I'm about to show you, we do on the website, but you guys don't have to do any of the hard work because we find all the stuff for you. It's unreal what you can make on there, all right? But if we start by thinking about where's the next place I'd put my coins, I'd be putting them into chem styles, okay? So when we talk about chem style trading, as I told you guys before, shadows, hunters, anchors, they are what you want to know, okay? And so let's go anchor. Um, we're going to go gold, rare. I'm just going to flick on there and see what we've got, basically. So probably about 900 coins you're going to look at. Anchor. Just want to do it roughly. So 800 coins is a grabbing birch there. It'll be gone. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. That's how easy, <laughs> that's how easy it is. Um, but yeah, that's basically a snipe on what you do with anchor. But basically, we're going to find out the minimum they are. And realistically, I'm going to guess it's around the 800 coin mark then, if that's just popped to that price. They do change every single day. So it's going to go down to 800 and see what we've got. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. So basically, you're going to sit here and snipe everything. I'm assuming Malfoy Parnas has gone. Yeah, I assume so. And everything that comes up, basically, you're going to snipe because you know it's below the minimum price they're selling for. However, if you guys do this at 6 p.m. every day, you will make absolute bank. Because at 6 p.m., all of these cards go down in value because people are packing them. So let's say Mavropanos, for example, is a standard 750 coins, for example. 6 p.m., he drops to 650, and everyone will start listing the Mavropanos up. You're going to get loads of anchors. Then what happens is those anchors start being bought up, and he rises in price bit by bit by bit. And he'll end up at 1,000 coins by the time that you guys decide you're going to bed. And you list them up overnight for a 1,000 coins, and most of them will sell them. Now, I did, I did Hunters last night, and if you look at my transfer pile, I absolutely ripped into them, and I did an unbelievable job. This Black Williams, I picked up for 1,200. I doubled my coins on her, okay? Oyazabao, again, I picked him up for, I think, 850, banged him to 2,000 coins. Kirby's, these Kirby's are 1,200. We've got 1,000 coins profit on these guys. We have all of these guys on the website. I know who to target because of that, all right? And on the website, we have got people who have made millions already and they've sold their coins for profit. I think the going rate for 100K FIFA coins at EA Sports Coins at the moment is nine to 10 pound. If you make a million coins and you decide to sell them, you make 90 quid for what is basically a 15 pound, 10 pound, 15 pound investment. It's unbelievable what you can do over there, right? So chem styles are unbelievably overpowered. They are ridiculously overpowered. And if you didn't know about it, there is a way to snipe better and you can snipe from your club. That is quicker to do. Um, so if we go to your club, this way probably gets you more cards than any other way, but it is a bit more competitive because you're trying to snipe stuff that is below the price quite considerably. So if you were to go here, you go gold rare, and you're interested in anchors, for example, is the one you're going to go for. So we go gold rare, we go anchors. You know roughly now that you can put your filter to 800 coins and stuff is going to come up bit by bit by bit. Now I'm doing this at 9.04 in the morning. There's nothing going to come up if we're entirely honest because it's going to be relatively dead. Everyone's sleeping at the moment. But at 6pm, 
it's lively as anything. Everybody's on the game. So that's sort of where I'd be thinking about, right, that's where I'm putting my, my, my coins or whatever. And that doing that should get you easily, easily to half a mil. You shouldn't have any problem within a few days of getting to a half a mil with doing these methods, okay? You can also bang in solution trading. Now, solution trading has got really good in the last 24 hours um, because what is happening at the moment is everybody is trying to make coins in any way they can and they are then putting those coins into getting unbelievable packs, okay? So you can go to Footbin and what you're interested in, if I show you, is these hybrid leagues, hybrid nations, league of nation hybrid, okay? So we're going to go hybrid nations this time. I change it every time I show you guys. So we go hybrid nations and we're going to go down to this one here, perfect. 7k uh, challenge, complete challenges. Now on the website, I have put together the 160 best cards to do this with, actually 170 now, best cards to do this with, okay? So you've got them all, you don't even need to go and do these solutions. I put them on there for you already, um, so you've done them. But what you're going to do is look for players that continually come up, okay? And you're going to go and buy them when they're at their lows. You're going to hold on to them. So Hegazi, for example, again, he's 400 coins. I'm not too interested in him. Zellerion. Zellerion might be a half decent one to do. You want to try and get these cards when they're at their lowest point, okay? Their absolute lowest point. So what I'm going to show you is basically a player that I know is very, very good. And that is Alana Cook. She's a very, very good player to trade with. So at the moment, she is 700 coins. So she's at the higher end of where gold cards are, gold commons are, but she's still down by 10, well, 12.5% at the moment. Alana Cook comes up into solutions probably every, tw maybe twice an hour. What you're trying to do, buy her at 450, 500, sell her at 800, and keep repeating that process, basically. You can keep doing that, buying loads of her, selling her on. Don't just do Alana Cook, though. If I've just shown you that a female American from the female MLS, I think it is, is very, very good, then you know that similar cards are going to be very, very good. Look for fullbacks, look for cams, positions that are a little bit weaker on people. They don't have so many people. You can do that, okay? And then what you want to do is fluctuation trading, okay? So you can work with icons or you can work with fluctuations. So I want to show you the fluctuations and how that is basically overpowered as anything, okay? So fluctuation trading is every time that we get content at 6pm, cards will come down in value, okay? Because they're supply. What then happens is people have coins, they then start buying these cards and the price rises and it rises into the evening and overnight. So as you can see at the moment, every single card rose last night. Every single card that we have on here or that's basically there rose overnight because you can see the percentage from the low point is now 0%. Okay, so that means everything is at least meeting its low point on the market. So you guys if you're on the website can make ridiculous coins with that because you now know that every single night what will happen is the percentage from low point for the website will drop to five percent lower minus five percent minus six percent and then what you're hoping for is to get up and around the averages again and they bounce back in price so Taliska, for example is a meh buy you wouldn't buy this card but when you know the low point is 13750 try and snap at 1300 if you're then selling back for his average even his high point really is what you want to go for it's a thousand coins a card for those of you that don't have the website, what you guys need to look at is something like Footwiz and you want to just start to check, continually check the sort of trends of what cards are doing. So if we go to here, we look at DRB, for example, um, updated never ago. So that's basically now a little glitch on there. So don't worry about that. But what we want to do is check what they did. So Saturday, he's at 54K, dips right down to 43K. Now bear in mind, he got hit hard, very, very hard because of Kudus, but he bounced back again. And again. You can see these, these things happen across so many different cards. Let's have a look at Rolfo, for example, 33k. Look at her hourlies. Again, so yesterday she was at high 32, dipped down. So someone like Rolfo, you're making 2k a card on. It's not a bad investment, but would I want 2k a card? Probably not. Probably want a little bit more for a 30k investment. Um, Verna was the best one yesterday that I saw. He did brilliantly well yesterday. You can see we get to content, bang down to 4.6 before bouncing straight back to 5.7 and to a high now of 5.9. So again, if you bought a load of Verners for a 4.6K investment, which is not much at all, you are making, you're gonna be making give or take about a thousand coins back per card. So if you put 460K into him, um, so you bought 10 of him, basically you'd easily make yourself 10K and you would've done it like that in an hour. It's, a, it's a, easy as anything, really. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, if you bought 10 of him, so that takes you to 46,000 coins. If you bought 100 of him, you made 100K last night. That is mental. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even think about that. 
Now I wish I'd done that last night. I did chem styles and I made that Ikea card anyway, but again, you bought 100 of them last night. So you've got your half a million that you traded to that I've told you about. You buy 100, my guy makes you 100K a day. So easy. Literally, it's that easy. You can work with icons, you can work with other items as well, but that basically, in a nutshell, is how you trade to a million coins. And I guarantee you, every single one of you can do a million in a week. Every single one of you. If you're on the website, you can probably do two or three million. It's genuinely that easy, all right? If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.